Okay, most people say that the ACC is the best conference of basketball. Is that still true? No. I mean, they're, they're certainly uh, extremely uh, deep. Uh, but, you know, I, I think most folks would, that serious basketball folks that don't just listen to the talking wonks, uh, well, you know, the Big 12 has certainly uh, been probably the top conference the last couple years uh, in terms of depth and, and teams, you know, West Virginia, uh, Oklahoma, who's not doing well this year, but still Baylor, Kansas, all those teams are still uh, pretty strong. But you, you still have to acknowledge the ACC. I right. still think they they're got competitive. they're very competitive. They got three teams at the top now: uh, North Carolina, uh, Florida State, and uh, uh, Notre Dame, all tied for first place. I think that's going to remain uh, with those three. Wait, wait, I'm still waiting for you to say uh, Duke. Uh, say Duke, Duke. Duke is two games back in the loss column. They're three and three overall, and of course, Shashevsky. Of course, Shashevsky's uh, uh, had the back surgery, and he's on the sidelines. They're still a wild card player. I mean, they're still an NCAA tournament team. Don't get me wrong there. But I think they'll, you know, they got a lot of games left with, with uh, the front runners to determine just how high up the totem pole they're going to get. Uh, they still play North Carolina twice. Obviously, still got a game with Florida State. They still uh, play Notre Dame? Uh, they have one game left with Notre Dame. So, you know, the opportunities are there for them to to regain their, their luster and get to the top of the ACC. I don't particularly uh, see that happening, but I do see them being, uh, you know, they're the hurdle that everybody else is is going. They're the Jerry Quarry this year <laughs> of the ACC that everybody's going to have to beat in in order to win it.